Alright, what is up guys? My name is Zua from Jeva. Today we're going to be doing some, uh, we're going to be using MySQL Async in 5M and uh, showing you how to uh, save values by players in your database. So, um, uh, you're going to need a couple, you're going to need to install a couple things like MySQL Async, the library, and also XAMPP. Uh, also, uh, before we go into it, the code that we write, all of it, will be used, or will be in the description below. So, um, yeah. Also, you're gonna need to install my uh, 5M MySQL async. I'll have these. I'll have all these links in the description below for you guys to you know check out. So just click download. I have it downloaded. Uh, it'll download as some different. Um, I'll download it again just for you guys. Uh, and while that's downloading, uh, you're also going to need XAMPP. So basically, XAMPP is um, it's it's what we use to run our database with. If you have some other means of doing that, uh, go right ahead. And use your way. Just uh, yeah, just this is for simpler people who don't really know what they're doing. So I'm gonna open up XAMPP because I have already have it installed. If you have X's on any of these, just click on them and then click yes to install it. Uh, you you basically just need Apache and MySQL. So I'm gonna start both of these. And also I'm gonna put this to the side. Um, and and with this RAR file also um, just uh, move it to your desktop. I'm gonna delete this, and I'm just gonna show you. Rename it to my uh, my SQL async. Okay, so uh, that should be good. We're we're gonna move that into our server folder as this is a resource for uh, the MySQL library. So while while this is running, uh, we're gonna need to set up our database for actually saving the values. So you know we won't go through any errors so click on admin on the mysql part and then it should uh, get this thing to a php my admin so we're gonna go to databases and I actually have this already here I'm going to uh, delete my 5m one here or I'm gonna delete this 5m database or you know we'll just we'll just create a new one we're gonna call it um, Test actually no we'll we'll call it a uh, 5m db you can call it whatever you want just remember what you call it or can I just drop that yeah that'll be that'll be really good I'm just gonna I'm gonna call it 5m now so uh, you created your 5m database I'm not gonna be going through essential mode database and going through the users because that is a lot of um, dependencies and I'm trying to swift away from dependencies because we're learning how to do it from scratch. So, uh, no dependencies. Maybe in the future we'll do ESX and stuff like that, but right now we're just doing uh, from the scratch. So, let's create a table. Uh, in fact, actually, we don't even need to do that. We are going to make it uh, straight from, uh, if you click on the query, and you're, in, you're selected in the 5M database. So, here's our query. We're going to run uh, an SQL script that this writes. So, we're going to need to create a table that you know houses all the data that we will potentially be uh, inserting into here so um, we're gonna create this is a bit of uh, my my SQL here or SQL so just uh, bear with me here so create table uh, we're gonna do main and then uh, open parentheses uh, in here let's close the parentheses too so in here we're going to do uh, ID uh, varchar, which is just basically like a string, and it's gonna accept uh, the string of only 50 characters, in it. and then it'll be null and the default or uh, default null because it's not, it doesn't really matter. We're also gonna be creating an um, name or name uh, column. The, we're th basically what we're doing right here is we're just creating columns. For our database or for our table that is in our database so I'm also just gonna copy that because uh, this will house the player names data in that column and then in this column we're gonna have the argument that uh, we'll potentially save into this so uh, var char and then we'll call this we'll have this with 255 characters because um, uh, we want the string to have a lot of uh, leeway so I'm gonna have this a default value of there you go, yeah. Alright, so uh I'm supposed to have a good Alright, so that's basically the uh I wish you could oh, there we go, we can. 
Um, actually, I'm gonna have the collate um, equal to Latin one which was Swedish. See, so, yeah, just so we could uh, make it a lot easier. And Jim, we're using an ODB. So yeah, is that a sunny thing right there? And uh, yeah, we should uh, we should run that. We shouldn't have any issues. There we go. Zero. Uh, all right, there we go. Yeah. So we, if we go into our 5M database right here, uh, yes, we'll have a uh, table in here called main, and this is where we'll store our ID, name, and arguments. You'll see how this works once we really get into it. So uh, now we can actually start setting it up from our server side. So let's go into our. Um, this is going to be a bit of a long video. I'm looking at the how long we're into this, and it's crazy. So um, in here, we're going to drag in my SQL async into here. This is the library, so we're also going to need to go to our resources.cfg, and I'm also just going to uh, start it up here. So I'm going to make a new common call it MySQL, and then uh, we're going to do start MySQL async. So in here, we're going to uh, or after we or before we start it, I want to set. I want to make the server connect to our database. So I mean, basically, that's essentially what we're doing here. So set my uh, MySQL underscore connection string. Uh, we'll have that with the server uh, is equal to uh, localhost, which is basically. Um, our local computer you could type in your IP right here or you know if you're using a different kind of server but yeah also in here I'm gonna do database well basically the semicolon right here this it kind of means like a new line so we we set up the server is equal to localhost which is our IP and then database is equal to 5m just like we called it and then user ID is equal to root that's the default one. You don't have a password if you just install it from XAMPP by default. But if you were to have a password on your database, I think it goes by just password is equal to mm, whatever your password is. Sorry. Um, so then right there, that should be connected when, once we actually run it. But uh, we need to actually use a... Um, we need to actually create the script now, which is the fun part. All right, so let's go into our resources. I'm going to make a new resource called uh, MySQL. Uh, you can call whatever you want, you know, like always. Uh, we should be familiar with setting up a resource. We'll do our resource underscore underscore resource dot two underscores. And then in here, we're going to uh, have a resource manifest. Uh, you're going to need the code right here. Uh, the resource manifest, if you don't want to type that out, we're going to need that, I think. Um, I don't really know. Uh, I think it's for server events you need those for. And uh, since we're dealing with a lot of server sided stuff this episode, I'm going to have the resource manifest right there. I'll put, the, I'll put all of this in the description below for you guys to copy. So we're going to have a client script, too, of uh, client.lua. And then uh, servers. We're going to have multiple scripts. So to actually do multiple scripts, you can do uh, multiple server scripts and then open up a table. And we can do uh, server.lua, because that's our server.lua. We're going to create that. And then to actually access the library that we will be using for MySQL, we're basically going to just uh, it's going to come out and then select this folder so or select that directory so to actually do that it's, uh, you just type in at mysql mysql async just like we renamed that resource this is that we're basically accessing that resources library so we go here slash lib and then uh, slash mysql uh, which is case sensitive I'm pretty sure so just uh, do that, and uh, as you can see, it's, it, I mean, it's part of that resource, so there we go. Now we can actually open that up. I'm going to open this into a new workspace just so we can make new folders. Um, so in our resource .lua, that's all set up. So I'm going to create a new file and call it client.lua. And I'm also going to be creating a server.lua. I'm going to full screen this for you guys. And... Um, and uh, let's let's so let's start off with client .lua. easy. We're we're basically gonna have like an output. So um, basically, you know, if it does, uh, it's going to say uh, for as a client sided uh, thing, we're gonna do. It's gonna output saying, uh, "Oh yeah, congratulations! It um, 
your your thing uh, or your your thing has been saved into this database so it'll just be like a little client side of thing which is why we're doing it through a client side so we're just gonna do register net event uh, output I'm calling it output because we're outputting it T there Oops. and uh, in here we're going to do uh, add event event handler, uh, output function and then this function has uh, one argument I'm, you can call that whatever you want, just remember to pass it through. And then in here we're going to do a trigger event uh, chat message. Oops. God, I'm really good at typing. Chat message. Uh, uh, we're going to have it like a little thing saying success. Uh, and then um, it's going to be uh, RGB of uh, zero. RG, so we're just gonna have G as green, and then uh, in here we'll say uh, added, um, added. We're gonna join the argument, so you'll see how this is what we're doing really here after. So added into the database. This will basically just alert whatever just got added into the database once we call it through the server .lua, So. Let's actually go into our server.lua and uh, check that out. So, so you can actually use in the server scope. You can use register command. So let's do that. It'll make our lives a lot easier. Easier. So register command. Uh, we're gonna do save. So slash save. And then we're also gonna use an argument for this uh, function. We're also gonna pass through a source, so the person, and then marks. And then end that. So now we can actually start, uh, actually first I'm going to concatenate the strings. So if you don't remember from our server events video when we made the uh, announcement command, this args gets outputted into a, um, uh, into a table, so we'd have to concatenate it. So for example, it'll, it'll output into like, uh, hey guys, it'll be something like that. and. Uh, that's how you know the args gets uh, outputted. So we're gonna need to concatenate that. So to do that, we're gonna do local args string. I'm gonna call it args string. Actually, is equal to table dot concat args args comma and then we have this uh, little quote here with the space. So it'll space out after we concatenate the strings together. Make sure to go check that video out if you don't really understand. So now we can actually, um, we're going to query the database through here uh, and insert the values uh, that we're going to do here now. So my, we're going to start out, we're going to start this off with mysql.async and then fetch all. And then in here, I, I, I don't know, I just use fetch all. I'm pretty sure that's not right, but it works. So I guess, uh, I guess it's fine. So this is basically SQL. This part right here is SQL in the string. So uh, just uh, bear with me here. So insert, because we're going to be inserting into the table name that we just created. We called it main, right? And then uh, we're going to be using the columns. We're going to be selecting the columns that we made. So there was an ID, there was a name, and then there's also an args. And like, like here, um, ID name and args right here. So we're just going to be writing that down here. And then we're going to need a values to actually pair them with from the game so we can actually communicate together through the game. Something like that. So source, comma, et, name. This is basically defining, kind of like defining variables in SQL. So args. Uh, that, that, that should be fun. So basically what we're going to want to do um, after here is we're going to... Um, yeah, you can just add a comma here and I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, open up a table here that has um, <coughs> excuse me and then we're gonna open up open brackets and then we're gonna say at um, what do we do first name so or actually at source the first one. At source is um, um, what is it? Oh yeah, at source is equal to um, source, and then um, I forgot to close it. My bad. 
Yeah, it's it's kind of weird, but you just gotta do it. This is like the format. We're also gonna open up another one and et name is equal to get player name and then pass in the source. So it'll just get the player's name through that, and then we're also gonna need another one to define the last one, which is args. And then args is basically just gonna be equal to that this little arg string right here. So it'll be into there. So then after that, we're gonna comma and then through all of this big function here comma and then um, we're going to need to uh, call back a function so function and then the result so this will basically output the result so then um, I mean what, what when that's done so then what you're gonna want to do is trigger client event so basically what we just made here so trigger client event output and then uh, source because uh, we're we're basically saying we're gonna trigger it to the person that just saved it only to the person and I'm going to make this uh, the last parameter just like we did here uh, argument I'm gonna make this uh, green so uh, only the player or so we can see the person that made it and then uh, it's gonna be green so I'm gonna join the strings with uh, what is it uh, arg string so basically what that just saved and then I'm also gonna have it into uh, zero which makes it white again so this makes whatever the arc string is uh, green and then it'll change it back to uh, white once it's done uh, echoing out the arg string which is just a chat message on your chat box and also I forgot to end the function here so yeah that should be it um, I'm gonna go into the server now uh, I think that should be it basically uh, if we did that right and I'm gonna show you uh, how this works so let's start that up and I'll uh, did I make it start I don't think I did did I right. minus QL async oh I forgot to start the resource that we just made um, so let's go into our resources.cfg and uh, let's start the resource that we just made which I called MySQL so I'm gonna save that and now I'll actually see you in the server Alright, uh, little mistake, uh, I called it server scripts, or without the T, you need the T in there, uh, I, it's, it's like this, I don't know what I called, or I don't know why I did that, I guess it was just a misclick, but, uh, I'll see you in the server now, sorry about that, uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm in my server, and, uh, we should do slash save, uh, save should work, so I'm gonna do slash save, this should be in our save and then it says success um, now if we go to our little database here refresh it um, each, yep there we go it says it right here um, oops, did not mean to do that. Uh, it says Zua this should be in our database now and uh, if I were to do it again uh, you know it'll it'll just keep going down and uh, in, that, in our next my, MySQL video I'm going to talk about getting values and uh, echoing out on the screen and whatnot. Uh, if you guys want more of these kinds of tutorials, make sure to like it. Really helps us out if you like it, you know, and subscribe. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this was a long, long one. I just wanted to try to explain everything because it is a little complicated. So uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah, goodbye.